welcome to all uh, dear professional in this video i'm going to mention about uh, online hosting of uh, koha hard disk space uh, in my youtube channel i got uh, so many queries related to um, hosting of uh, disk space or uh, koha in online mode and also last week i i got the uh, same uh, queries uh, from other user also so in this um, in this video i'm going to mention about uh, all uh, things over here uh, first uh, we need to obtain the static ip from uh, internet uh, service provider uh, uh, those are all um, in uh, india internet service providers are uh, Airtel, Jio, VI, BSNL, and so many service providers are there. And uh, in my case, our college uh, we subscribe the internet service, um, internet service through BSNL. Hence, uh, we sent their request, uh, requisition to the BSNL manager uh, to obtain the static IP. And the cost of the static IP is around 1,800 INR per annum, or uh, in US dollar 20, it is around and uh, within two days i got the static ip from our uh, internet service provider my static ip is all about 117 247 114 185 and my koha port address is uh, 8000 for opac and 8001 for staff client if you have d space you can enter um, 8080 or 8181 um, as your uh, port address hence my online hosting uh, for koha pack will be uh, 117 247 114 185 colon 8000 and 8001 for staff client in the first step i uh, i should um, I need to open uh, my modem, uh, modem, and uh, so I need to uh, type the 192.168.1.1. So it is uh, redirected to the my modem or uh, my box, and here. I need to type uh, my username and password. So don't worry, you just go to your modem and uh, turn it back. In the back side of uh, your modem, they have mentioned your um, admin, uh, your username and password. So um, go to modem or router and you will find that uh, address. And um, my uh, normally username will be admin and password uh, according to maybe one two three four five or something else. Just type as it is, and um, uh, for that one you should um, if you have um, system administrator, uh, you just take the assistance of your system system administrator. That is very important. So unnecessary that is a confusion. It is not going to happen. So this one thing and uh, in the back side of your uh, modem they clearly mentioned here I need to enter my captcha uh, enter username password and uh, appropriate uh, captcha what is display on your um, um, screen so it's b 0 md okay this one I'm going to log in okay it is directed to the my box modem and uh, here you may see my device and uh, my Wi-Fi all detail over here. You can set your Wi-Fi username and password. In first step, it is we have logged in. And second one is second step. You need to go to the application advanced NAT and um, enable all. In the network itself, you may see you can give username password for your Wi-Fi router and all. And uh, in the application. You, j you need to go to the application and advanced NAT okay this is very important so here I need to enable all options so enable all so because uh, file transfer protocol everything I should do enable so uh, then only it will come to the online so I now enabled all in the next step uh, here um, FTTP and all there yeah save all and in the next step uh, i should go to the th um, uh, dmz optional and um, we should enter our uh, koha uh, ip address koha or your d space server ip address uh, uh, koha that one means especially local ip address you should enter go to dmz and go to type just click on enable 
and just type either your D space or Quahas local IP address. So this is very important and uh, one dot and just save it. This is uh, 192.168.1.63. It is my local IP address. And next one, final one is for the fourth step, add virtual server address. Here I need to enter um, that is uh, static IP which is provided by BSNL or internet service provider. Go to virtual server, go to add, click on just add and here in the custom server in the option you just type uh, your, uh, my, in my case dbs library i'm going to type anything you can type it is not a it is not uh, restricted and here in the server ip address i need to type my server local ip address 192.168.1.63 this is my local ip address i need to type and in the here in the enable option i should enable in the right mark and here i need to click the one nine um, again i need to type my local um, either kohar uh, d space um, uh, server ip address so here uh, wait uh, this one is actually it is a static ip address so this part uh, this one we should not enter here this part but local ip address only we need to enter in this uh, part right I think I need to take copy. Mm, okay, in future it is going to use. Okay, okay. I need to type my local IP address 192. Uh, yeah, 192.168.1.63. And my Koha uh, mm, OPAC port address is 8000. So this is one very important and also external end port also you should enter 8000. Here I need to enter my static IP which is provided uh, by the uh, BSNL or internet service provider. You just go to over here just uh, type uh, and I am going to paste uh, this part. Yeah and uh, my server uh, port address is 8000 that is entered so in the same way I need to give this um, my Koha stop client IP address 8001 okay this one and also here also I need to type again 8001 only here I need to select TCP and UDP and also I need to type what is that um, my static IP address and 8001 because I need to work online um uh, to opac as well as um, staff client so that reason i am giving, giving both ip address um, both port address over here so these are the only two step okay i feel um, i think everything is fine look fine so just go down and save whatever you done the work just go down i think everything is fine okay just save it all Okay, now it is added now you came to um, your, um, your uh, uh, Koha it came to online so suppose you open your static IP uh, in your within network it is not going to open that one thing very important things and you just keep in your mind because within that network this uh, static IP it is not going to work so within your network area you should use your local IP address but outside the campus or maybe in your mobile phone with the data you should use um, that is static IP so within local area you should use your um, local IP only so that one thing you should just keep in your mind so now just you go to your mobile phone and just type the whatever uh, given static IP plus with uh, 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 that is port address so it is going to work uh, well uh, now and uh, i think uh, just go to uh, and um, and uh, for my uh, opac uh, i should use this part for strap client i should use this ip uh, this ip address 117 247 114 185 colon 8001 it is for this top client 117 247 114 185 colon 8000 is for the opac now in my mobile phone i have my own um, i have connected my mobile data 
not uh, this uh, same network uh, Wi-Fi now I am going to type the my uh, static IP which is given by this internet service provider so now 172.47 114 185 and 8000 okay this part just you may see that um, yeah, our online hosting of uh, my web pack it is succeeded it is going to open and uh, uh, throughout the world in any part of the world it is going uh, you may see and 8001 it is my staff client uh, I need to enter my username password to log in by sitting home itself you can work um, uh, 